नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू द पॉडकास्ट हिंदू फेस्टिवल्स एंड साइंटिफिक रीजन वी विल एक्सप्लोर द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ फेस्टिवल्स लाइक दिवाली होली एंड नवरात्रि एंड अनरावल द साइंटिफिक रीजनिंग बिहाइंड देयर रिचुअल्स कलर्स एंड कस्टम्स Hindu festivals are a vibrant tapestry of cultural, religious and social celebrations that have been observed for centuries. While these festivals hold immense spiritual and traditional significance, they often have scientific reasons and connections to the natural world. Let's explore some prominent Hindu festivals and their scientific explanations. Holi Holi is a vibrant Hindu festival of colors celebrated during spring. The throwing of colored powders and water during Holi has a scientific significance. The colors used are traditionally made from natural plant-based materials such as turmeric, neem and marigold which have antimicrobial and antiseptic properties. These colors help prevent diseases and skin infections that may occur during the seasonal transition Diwali Diwali the festival of lights Diwali the festival of lights is celebrated to commemorate the victory of light over darkness is celebrated by lighting lamps and candles Scientifically Diwali falls during the autumn season when the days become shorter and the nights grow longer. Lighting oil lamps and bursting fireworks during Diwali symbolize the triumph of light and the dispelling of darkness. The festival also coincides with the harvesting season, signifying gratitude for the abundance of crops and the onset of cooler temperatures. Apart from its religious significance, The practice of lighting lamps during Diwali has a scientific basis. Lighting lamps made of ghee, clarified butter, or sesame oil helps purify the air by reducing pollutants and allergens. It also reduces the presence of airborne bacteria, thus contributing to a cleaner and healthier environment. Makar Sankranti Makar Sankranti is a harvest festival celebrated with kite flying. Makar Sankranti marks the transition of the sun into the zodiac sign of Capricorn. Scientifically, this festival is observed during the winter solstice when the sun's direct rays start moving towards the northern hemisphere. Makar Sankranti celebrates the arrival of longer days and shorter nights. signifying the onset of warmer temperatures and the harvest season in addition flying kites requires physical activity coordination and concentration providing a form of outdoor exercise and promoting motor skills agility and mental alertness navratri Navratri is a nine-night festival dedicated to the worship of the Hindu goddess Durga. Navratri and Durga Puja celebrate the divine feminine energy and the victory of goddess Durga over evil forces. Scientifically, these festivals align with the change in seasons, marking the transition from the monsoon to autumn. The rituals and celebrations during Navratri and Durga Puja provide a sense of community, joy, and emotional well-being during the seasonal shift one of the traditions during navratri is the dance form called garba scientifically garba is an energetic dance form that involves continuous movement which acts as a cardiovascular exercise promoting physical fitness and burning calories Ganesh Chaturthi Ganesh Chaturthi celebrates the birth of Lord Ganesha the remover of obstacles Scientifically 
The clay idols used during the festival are eco-friendly and biodegradable, reducing environmental pollution. The immersion of these idols in water bodies promotes the growth of aquatic life and helps maintain ecological balance. The clay idols of Lord Ganesha are immersed in water after the festival, symbolizing the process of biodegradation and the return of natural elements to the environment. Karva Chauth Karva Chauth is a fasting ritual observed by married Hindu women for the well-being and longevity of their husbands. Scientifically, fasting on specific lunar phases as observed during Karva Chauth, can align the body's biorhythms with natural cycles, potentially enhancing physical and mental well-being. The practice of intermittent fasting, as observed during Karva Chauth, has been associated with various health benefits, including improved insulin sensitivity, cellular repair, and longevity. The fasting can stimulate autophagy, a cellular cleansing process that removes damaged cells and promotes cellular regeneration. This process can have potential health benefits. It promotes self-discipline, mindfulness in food consumption, and the strengthening of marital bonds. Raksha Bandhan Raksha Bandhan celebrates the bond between siblings. Raksha Bandhan is a festival where sisters tie a protective thread, Rakhi, around their brother's wrists. This tradition symbolizes love, care, and the bond between siblings. From a scientific standpoint, the thread may have been made of cotton or silk, which were traditionally believed to have healing properties and could protect against skin ailments. Scientifically, this tradition symbolizes the commitment to care for and protect one another. It fosters a sense of security, trust, and emotional support within sibling relationships, contributing to overall well-being and family cohesion. Janmashtami Janmashtami is the celebration of Lord Krishna's birth. One of the traditions is breaking the dahi handi, pot of curd, suspended at a height. Scientifically, this tradition can be seen as a form of physical exercise and team-building activity requiring coordination, strength and agility. This festival falls during the monsoon season, when the environment is lush and conducive to the growth of crops and vegetation. Janmashtami celebrations often involve decorating swings and cradles, symbolizing the fertile and nurturing qualities of the earth during this season. Pongal Pongal is a harvest festival celebrated in South India. It involves the preparation of a dish called Pongal using freshly harvested rice and other ingredients. Scientifically, consuming freshly harvested crops ensures higher nutritional content and minimizes the loss of essential nutrients, contributing to a healthier and more balanced diet. Pongal marks the end of the harvest season and the beginning of a new agricultural cycle. The sun's rays are more direct during this time, aiding in the drying and preservation of crops. Karthigai Deepam Karthigai Deepam is a festival of lights celebrated in South India in Tamil Nadu. Oil lamps are lit throughout the homes and temples. Scientifically, lighting oil lamps with cotton wicks can help in reducing airborne pollutants, purifying the indoor air, and creating a soothing and peaceful environment. The lamps create a warm and well-lit environment, 
reducing the breeding grounds for insects and pests that are common during the winter season. The smoke generated by the lamps also acts as a natural mosquito repellent. Onam Onam is a harvest festival celebrated in Kerala, where people create floral decorations called Pukkalam. Scientifically, the colorful flowers used in Pukkalam attract bees and other pollinators, contributing to the pollination process and the reproduction of plants. It signifies the ecological balance and the interdependence between humans and nature. Rat Yatra Rat Yatra is a chariot festival associated with Lord Jagannath, observed in Puri, Odisha. Scientifically, the procession during Rat Yatra involves physical exertion, marching, and pulling the chariots. It serves as a form of physical exercise, promoting fitness and enhancing cardiovascular health for the participants. Navagraha Puja Navagraha Puja involves the worship of the nine celestial bodies, planets, in Hindu astrology. Scientifically, the movements of celestial bodies have a profound impact on Earth's climate and the human body. The Puja serves as a symbolic acknowledgement of the interconnectedness between cosmic forces and human existence. This tradition acknowledges the influence of celestial bodies on Earth's climate, weather patterns, and human behavior. Kumbh Mela Kumbh Mela is a major Hindu pilgrimage that takes place at four riverbank sites in India. Kumbh Mela is one of the largest religious gatherings in the world, where millions of people take a holy dip in sacred rivers. Pilgrims bathe in the sacred rivers during this festival. From a scientific perspective, the ritual bathing in the rivers can have a purifying effect, helping to cleanse the body of impurities and potentially reducing the risk of waterborne diseases through dilution and temporary immune system stimulation. Mahashivratri Mahashivratri is a night of fasting and worship of Lord Shiva. Scientifically, fasting during Mahashivratri can promote autophagy, improve insulin sensitivity, and regulate metabolism. It can also help in detoxification and provide digestive rest to the body. Chhat Puja Chhat Puja is an ancient Hindu festival dedicated to the worship of the sun god. It involves offering prayers and performing rituals on the banks of rivers or other water bodies during sunrise and sunset. Scientifically, exposure to sunlight during these hours provides a natural source of vitamin D, which is essential for bone health and overall well-being. Kavadi Attam Kavadi Attam is a dance form performed during the festival of Thaipusam. Devotees carry elaborate structures called Kavadis on their shoulders. Scientifically, the physical act of carrying the Kavadi and engaging in energetic dance movements provides a cardiovascular workout, improving fitness, stamina, and overall health.
It is important to note that while these scientific explanations provide a perspective on the potential benefits or connections to natural phenomena, the primary significance of Hindu festivals lies in their religious and cultural contexts. The scientific aspects mentioned here are meant to complement and offer additional insights into these rich traditions. We hope this podcast has sparked curiosity and encouraged a deeper exploration of Hindu traditions in the light of scientific understanding. We invite you to continue this journey with us as we unravel more captivating insights in future episodes. If you found value in this podcast, please share it with others who might be interested in the intersection of Hindu traditions and scientific reasoning. We'd also love to hear your feedback and suggestions for future episodes. Thank you for joining us on Hindu Festival and Scientific Reason. Until next time, may the wisdom of Hindu traditions and the wonders of science illuminate your path towards knowledge growth and well-being.